Hello and welcome to another First Impressions video brought to you by MMO Play. Today we're taking a look at Microvolts. It is a free-to-play first-person shooter. It's from NQ Games and published by Rock Hippo Productions. It's available over at Steam. Released in July of 2012, so this one's a brand new game. This is a kind of RPG action shooter. Well, not really first-person shooter, I guess it'd be a third-person. This is just a tutorial. We're not going to go through the whole thing. I'm just showing you. If you're new to the shooter genre, play through it. If you aren't, it's standard controls. You can just skip it and go right into the game, which we're going to do right now. Actually, we're already in. This is going to be a wave-style mission. This is a single-player game. This is how you earn some XP and credits. It's also a microtransaction game. You can actually purchase upgrades. Some people have accused this game of pay-to-win, but really, I mean, it's... The paying is just letting you unlock faster. So if you want to unlock without putting a single penny into it, just play these stages for a little while. And I actually had a little bit of trouble completing these. I kept running out of ammo, so uh, that was a little bit disconcerting, but not that bad. Practicing my sniper rifle skills, which is not amazing. My biggest problem with shooters is the fact that my aiming is not so good. I'm more of a uh, tactical or group-oriented fantasy RPG style gamer. I'm not that good at shooters, but for some reason I like them. This reminds me a lot of the multiplayer in Mass Effect 3. It's that kind of just survive the waves. It's not quite as detailed or whatever as Mass Effect 3, but this seems like a really fun, fast-paced game, and it seems like the combat is very fluid. If I only weren't a shooter, I'd probably sit here and play all day long, but yeah, it's still fun. You can see all the different weapons I'm using. As I'm running out of ammo, I'm just kind of cycling through trying to beat it. There are ten waves, and well, I'm having issues with ammo, so I don't know if I'm able to make it through all ten today. And this is just one of, I believe, four heroes you can choose from. This is the one you start with. There's one other one you can get, and then the other two have to get unlocked with points. You can either purchase points or... Wow, I fail. You can either purchase points, or you can just get them through doing stages like this. This is a kind of a chain gun style weapon, which means it has to charge up. So if something's hitting you, um, it doesn't work so well. I probably should have been saving my rifle for this and then using my melee weapon in the first wave or two. This is... There we go. Uh-oh, she's out of ammo again. You see I'm running out of ammo. Got a little disruption type weapon. And we're on wave 5, there's 9 enemies left. There are 10 waves, so this is uh, about 400 out of 1,000 hit points. Ooh! Look out, that gun in the turret. The turret in the center does hurt. See, it knocked 100 points off of me in one hit. Oh, that's that. Maybe next time. Well, let's take a look at the out-of-game interface. You see how it does give me resources for winning. You see you got this other hero. And those other games I could be joining, uh, I'm gonna stick with single player for a little while. These are this is the store. Does every female character have to be that provocative? Oh well. This is nothing that Microvolts is guilty of. It's every RPG. And so you can change your everything, including your password. You gotta pay points for changing your password, but. What else we got? We can change our looks, too. Change our costume. So you can basically customize everything. We can also unlock new heroes. Here's the second guy. We'll just look and see how he looks in combat. You can see there's all kinds of upgrades. That's where people do accuse it of pay to win, is because of that. But, like I said, you can earn it with just playing the game. It just takes you longer. That's how a lot of the free-to-play games work, really. I'm usually more of a fan of the microtransaction style games that just give you nothing but fluff for microtransactions. But at the same time, hey, if they want to go ahead and develop the game and put time and energy and money into it, I'm fine with them doing that. Seems to be a really... The combat is fluid. There's a lot of shooters that haven't been lately, and this one just feels fun to play. And we're just taking a look at... You guys the same idea. Just gotta survive ten waves, so... The game, check it out. It's available for free on Steam. Nice quick downloads. If you like the content, stay tuned to more videos for MMO Play. Want to see more of this game? Let us know. And I'm going to sit here and see if I can do any better with this guy. Probably not. <laughs>